everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. And, oh, Miss Judy's over there relaxing. Yeah, so no videos for a couple days. What I did the day after Thanksgiving is I took all, well, I cleaned everything up, for one. And I took all the turkey meat off of the bone and put the carcass back in that big stock pot and boiled it all up and let it boil for hours, I don't know. Um, I may, and, and I put it outside, that's my refrigerator. For, I mean, the pot was so big I didn't have anywhere else to put it, and it got down pretty gosh darn cold last night. So today I'm going to process the rest of that stock and hopefully find a few jars and clean them out and can me some turkey stock. And I also may, in fact, right now I'm going to show you here in a minute, I made a casserole with the leftovers, and how I made it is in one of those little silver uh foil pans. I put a little gravy on the bottom, then put that horrible stuffing on top of that. Hopefully with the other flavors it'll not be so salty. And then sweet potatoes over that, then the green beans over that, then cranberry chutney over that. And I got a ton of cranberry chutney left. I'm going to see if I can can some of that too. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably just leave it in what it's in and keep it in the refrigerator. Um, cranberry sauce, then turkey over that, then gravy over the top of that. If I had made mashed potatoes, I would have put mashed potatoes on the very top, then gravy, but I didn't. And it's in a foil thingy, and it's in the Coleman Camp Oven baking right now, so that's what I'm going to have for brunch, I guess. It's going to take probably an hour or so, so let me show you. There's my little happy face fire screen. I'm going to add another log here in a little bit, and I'm going to close this door here in a little bit because some smoke is starting to come out. I've gotten this Coleman Camp oven up to, oh, just under 200. I think if I close the door, it'll get a little bit hotter. And I've got a pot on top of that. And, yeah, I have just got the the little foil thingy in there, and it's going to bake. I don't know how long it'll take. We'll see. It hasn't even gotten up the temperature yet, but it's going to be so delicious. And this fire is so nice and warm and cozy. It feels so good in here. Oh, and a couple days before Thanksgiving, maybe the day before Thanksgiving, maybe? I can't remember, but I got a package delivered via UPS, and I'm going to open that now and show you what it is. Some of you may already know if you watch the live streams, but this is so amazing. Guess what the UPS guy just dropped off? This package! I'm pretty sure I already know what it is because she told me she was getting one. So let me open this up. Alrighty. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Let's see. I know. I already know who this is from. Let's see. Oh, this. Yep. It is. And this is from the lovely Miss Donna B. What? What did I do with my knife? So let me get into this. Oh, I needed it. Needed it. Needed it. So bad. Ta-da! Whoops, I tore the thingy off of it. It is for dogs up to 125 pounds, 30 feet. That's going to be more than enough. I'm going to go and hook it up right now. I did go ahead and hook it up right away. And if you watched the live stream, you saw Judy happily running around out there. And that thing is so much thicker and stronger than the last one. So Judy's going to continue to be able to run free without running across the street or getting hit by a car or whatever. So thank you so much, Donna. I appreciate it. And so what am I going to do today? Well, I'm going to kind of chill out. It's going to be just kind of a little bit cold. And this next week, whew, it's going to be getting down into the teens. So um, I might try and process some more firewood. I'm going to do the turkey stock. I'm going to... I don't know. Do what most everybody else does after Thanksgiving. Just kind of chill out and enjoy, you know, the days and whatnot. I may do a project. I don't know. I did clean out the wood-burning stove yesterday, and I put the ash on top of that garden bed. And if you were watching the live stream, you noticed that I had already put soil on the top of it. So I've got a bunch of different stuff in that. I'll talk to you more about that later, though. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know what else I'm going to do today. We're just going to have to see. I just wanted to show you guys kind of what this looked like. I already took out a serving for myself, and I've tasted it. It's delicious, and it's just a very, very yummy casserole. So I'm going to cover this back up, put it back in the oven, keep it warm for a little while so I can have some more later. See? Oops, dropping. Mmm. <laughs> 
it's good. Yep, the saltiness has gone basically away from that stuffing because all the sweet stuff in it and the tangy stuff. Mm, this is a good, good casserole. Mm. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking it's time to decorate this here little cedar Christmas tree. I had been to the dollar store and I bought some little ornaments and some pretty little flower things. I think I'm going to only use one, maybe hopefully use it as the star and some pretty garland. So hopefully it'll work. I hope. It all has to be very, very lightweight because this is a very delicate tree and it needs some water. So let me see if I can get this decorated. chickens except for one is chilling out in there and look at that I wouldn't be surprised if that's Patsy I really need to get those ankle bracelets on them this one is just sitting here chilling out all by herself I bet it's Patsy she seems pretty happy yeah so that's about it you guys I got the Christmas tree decorated I got the turkey carcass separated from all the meat and the chickens are eating it up and I'm getting ready to can that uh, turkey stock and well I'm not gonna actually can it I'm just gonna put it in some sterilized jars and put it in the fridge I think that's good enough I'm gonna use it up pretty quickly 
And I've just been relaxing, chilling out, and doing some Black Friday shopping, Cyber Monday shopping. Um, a few people, well, a couple people sent me some Christmas money. And I have been trying to decide what I'm going to do with it. So you'll get to see that very, very soon. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.